you've you've had um, such a fantastic season already in, in Scotland. Can you talk about kind of what the move has meant to you? Why it's been such kind of an instant success? Like, what what is it about playing in in Scotland that's um, that's gelled so well with you? Yeah, you know, I think it I think it suits my uh, type of game. You know, I went over there at a good age with uh, a lot of professional games under my belt from Wanderers, um, which I'm very grateful for. You know, it's, it had a good platform to go over there and, and showcase my ability, and um, the club, St Mirren, have obviously given me the best chance to do that. So, yeah, happy that it's gone well so far. Mate, we spoke to Cam Devlin yesterday about the Scottish flavour in the Socceroos at the moment, with the guys born there and obviously playing there like yourself. Um, do you feel like there's sort of similar values between Scottish and Australian football that could, could benefit us um, going forward? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think the league's a great league, um, the SPFL. As you said, there's a lot of Aussie boys going over there from the A-League, which is good for, for us as a national team and, and us moving forward. So, yeah, it's a great league to be a part of. Um, in my opinion, it's a, it's a good league. It's a good step up from the A-League. And physical-wise, I think it gets your body ready for, for men's football more so than you know, what, what we're used to with more games and, and more um, yeah, demand on the, on the body and the schedule. I know that at Western Sydney you, you don't get much love when things go wrong, but what about over there and the, the differences and I don't know how much you can understand from what's coming down in the stands if things do go wrong, but that, that little sprinkle of pressure in that regard, what's that like to, to try and push your career forward and, and has it worked for you? Yeah, definitely. It's a good question. It's, um, you can definitely feel it at, at some stages in games where... You're under the pump, and, and you know your fans obviously need need that win, or the whole club needs the three points to to sort of progress up the table and, and stay away from that relegation battle. So I guess that's the main thing. The relegation battle is huge over there, and no team wants to go down. And, and as a club of like St Mirren, we don't want to go down, and we want to be as high as possible. So we want to do you know well every week to, to be in that top six come the end of the season. Uh, Keanu, have you had any discussions with the coaching staff with Arnie about what sort of role they envision you playing for the Socceroos at this World Cup? What qualities they want you to bring? What attributes they want you to endeavour to f bring to this squad? Yeah, definitely. We spoke on the phone, you know, when he um, congratulated me to come to the come to Qatar and join the squad and he told me, you know, he told me that I've been doing well with with what I've been doing in Scotland, with bringing a lot of energy, a lot of legs. Um, yeah, said I've been playing with, with, with freedom and, and just you know, bring that form over to the to the World Cup squad. And I've had a request from ESPN South Africa to ask you. Obviously, you were born in South Africa. Um, Kieran spends a bit more time there than you before you moved over. He's gone back to play for Kaiser Chiefs. But did you have any interest throughout your junior football in representing South Africa at ever le any level that you knocked back in hope of playing for the Socceroos? No, not really. No, <laughs> I came over to Australia when I was nine months, so pretty much one year, one year old and. Yeah, I don't know any better. I'm, I'm Australian through and through, so I never, never thought about not, not playing for Australia my whole life. So I'm grateful that you know things like this and the Olympics have, have come my way at such a young age, and I'm just you know hoping to kick on. So the Federation never reached the South African Federation never reached out to you. No, no, not at all. No, never. Cool. Uh, Keanu, there was some commentary during the World Cup qualifiers that the Socceroos lacked a physical presence in midfield like we used to have with, with Milligan, with, with Yedinat, with, even with Grella. Do you think that that is a role that you could play at the base of the midfield? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think um, that's always been a, a strong part of my game. Uh, from a young age, I've always loved to get stuck in. So I'm going to continue to do that um, over here. Obviously, Scotland has helped with how physical that league is. And that's um, yeah, helped me to grow in that, in that side of my game even more than, than what I did go over there with. So... Yeah, definitely gonna gonna bring that over here in this in this squad and this team. Keanu, congratulations on the call up. Um, strong contingent of Ollie Roos players from the Tokyo squad. Can you just talk to us about what that tournament experience did for you, did for that group of players that are here at the moment and even the familiarity between all of you? Yeah, yeah. Um, big credit to all the boys that are here because you know, we worked hard for that for that tournament to get to that. Olympic stage as well, and that gave us the experience of, um, you know, men's football as such. I know it's 23s, but it's for us it was a big, um, big step up from where we were all playing. Uh, most of us were play, playing in the A League, so it was a good challenge, a good, um, good experience for us to go through that all together. And um, obviously Arnie was there with us, you know, which helped um, integrate us into into men's football here, into the national team. So, yeah, we, you know, we were grateful to have that experience, and um, 
it's good that you get a number, number of boys of us are here from there. Keanu, you're um, one of a few members of the squad who have come through at Blacktown City uh, and also after that the Wanderers. So you've grown up in a, you know, a, a football heartland in Australia. How much of um, your development can you credit to, I guess, coming through those two clubs? They seem to have set you on a pretty good path. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's a big thank you to, to the West of Sydney, you know, from Blacktown days to integrating into Western Sydney was massive for me because, you know, that's where all the fun started. It was fun when I was young. It was still fun now, but it's, it's you know, grew my love for the game when I was young. My brother played as well. So, yeah, Blacktown and, and Wanderers was, was massive for my childhood. Uh, and also there's been reports recently um, of, of clubs in England keeping an eye on you potentially. I know you just got to St Mirren, but... Um, do you see this World Cup and I guess the, the next little phase of your career as an opportunity to, to show even more broadly you know, your talents to, to clubs that might be looking for you? Because I'm sure St Mirren, like a lot of Scottish clubs, you know, are, are selling clubs and they like to bring players in and then move them on for profit. Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm just, I'm just going to look to improve my game. Um, every game that I play, just get better. Um, yeah, things like that. Obviously, I'd love to you know, progress as far as I can in my career and play at the highest level. You know, I think everybody as a player wants to play in the Premier League. That's where I'd love to be. So I'm in the UK now, it's, it's a stepping stone, but as you said, yeah, if, um, if I can progress in, in another stepping stone before that stage, then you know, that's, that'd be great for, my, for me, my career, and, and everyone involved, so. Keanu, making your debut for the Socceroos relatively late on in the cycle, just against New Zealand, in fact, you and Cammy, two of those. How, what's the process been like to integrating into this you know, senior Socceroos side and becoming one of the lads? What's that look like? Yeah, you know, it's, it's an amazing feeling, obviously. Um, it's pretty good because, you know, I've worked with Arnie before and, and, and the staff, and I know, you know, what they expect in terms of coming around the camp and, and you know, um, being with the boys and how to act. So it, it's good, you know, and I just be myself, I smile, and, and they seem to like that. So I'm just going to continue to do that and uh, out on the training pitch do my best and, you know, any minutes that I get to do my absolute best and, and that's all, I, um, you know, people can ask and that's all I can ask myself. And we've heard stories of weird coffee orders from the barista and FIFA games and COD groups. What's it like in the day-to-day -day life at the academy? Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. There's you know, a whole bunch of boys and everyone likes different things. So some of us like you know, PlayStation, FIFA, we've got ping pong set up, uh, pool. The social room is pretty, pretty busy, which is you know, a good sign of a good team with, with good culture. So we've got to continue that. Keanu, as one of the younger members of the squad, can I just ask, what are your, following on previous questions, what are your goals for this campaign and what hopes do you have to get some time in the tournament? Yeah, look, you know, I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy to have my name, um, be named in that squad of the 26 players, you know, arguably the, the best 26 in Australia. So that's a great feeling at this stage to, to be recognised and and to be rewarded for all the hard work. So yeah, you know, whatever happens now is a bonus for me, but I'm gonna do my absolute best and um, enjoy every moment that comes my way. And um, you know, hopefully if, if things come off the back of that, then that's, that's a great feeling, but you know, we'll, we'll go day by day. So what do you have to do to get a few minutes in a game during this World Cup? I think just continue what I'm doing my whole life, you know, work hard, um, train, train well, train hard, and just give yourself the best ability to, to you know, be selected. So Arnie says there's two people for every position and there's 26 players who can play, but we know that some players are etched in stone, so to speak, and some aren't. Do you, what do you see your role in terms of pushing those more senior players? Yeah, it's obviously a squad of you know, 26 players, great players as well, come from all over the world. Um, yeah, they're all good boys, but you know, at the end of the day, we are competing against each other for spots, but we're a team as well. So whoever is selected, we want, you know, we want the best result possible on the field. So. Whoever is out there, we just want to do our best and make Australia proud. Keanu, everyone talks about, or you've been talking about as well, um, the great dynamic in the team and how you all get on so well. Um, you would appear to be one of the most relaxed ones. Can you tell us who the stress heads are? And do you keep an eye on each other? And when you see someone starting to freak out a bit, does someone pull them aside? You know, where does Arnie sit in that stress level situation as well? No, nah, look, I think we're all, we're all grown men now, so we can all, um, yeah. We all talk to each other and we help each other out when we can. Um, yeah, in terms of the st there's no real stress heads in the team, I don't think. I think everyone's pretty good and it's a good, um, good atmosphere around, it, around camp. So, yeah, we're happy with And hi, so I, I've seen that you've called St. Mirren and Scotland fans to come out and support in Australia. I'm wondering what kind of response, um, what kind of response you've gotten for that? Oh, yeah, for everyone supporting me, you mean? Yeah, it's uh, obviously a great feeling um, to have the whole 
you know, of Paisley behind me. Uh, the whole All Samira fans, I think I'm the first player to go to a World Cup from them. So they were super happy. And I'm just, you know, amazed to, to be able to, to um, play here for them. And do you think Scotland fans are going to be back in Australia? Yeah, definitely. I think without Scotland in the World Cup, I think there's a number of us here from Scotland too. So I think <laughs> seven players. So they'll definitely be back in us, I think. And I wanted to ask you about the viral video supporting LGBTQ rights. Um, a little bit of how that came about in the squad and if that meant anything to you personally, the release of that video. Oh, look, you know, I think the, the um, Australia made that video before the World Cup came out. But, um, yeah, now that we're here, we just want to focus on football, day-to-day um, -day training and just um, improving and being ready for that first game. Are there, are there any kind of protests or anything planned for here while you're here? Oh, no, no, not that, not that I know of. So we just want to focus on, you know, doing the best we can and making Australia proud on the pitch. And that's the main thing now. Last one, Dave. <laughs> um, you spoke about energy and legs before, and, and that's been one of the traits that you, you thought you brought into the camp and, and for your selection. Has that been a big theme um, coming to this camp about how you guys can take on France, take that mentality into France to run a, and impress against a really you know, supremely talented midfield themselves? Yeah, definitely. I think you need to be um, at the top of your game to, to face a, a team like France, you know. And when you look at the squad, I think majority of the boys have been playing minutes or, you know, us boys have been playing minutes. That's why, you know, we were, we were looked at um, at this time of the year to, to be in this squad. So we just want to take our form that we have been in club to, to the games uh, starting on Tuesday.